Tell me what it's been like adjusting to this new role and this new position for you. Uh, it's been awesome. It's, it's been really good. Uh, a lot of excitement, uh, a lot of energy. Uh, the guys are playing hard. Uh, it's crazy. The things that Coach Chiano have instilled in these guys it is amazing. And it's just energy on both sides of the ball. The, the, the energy is, is amazing. About the, uh, the unit, I mean, can you? What do you see in the depth? It seems like it's a, it's a pretty deep, got a lot of talented young players there. I mean, what do you kind of see in the unit's depth? Yeah, we we got players everywhere, uh, both sides of the ball. Got got a lot of good players, and and we're young, so so that young got to go fast for us to have a have a good chance. But we are really are excited about all the guys, especially the guys in my room. Say Aaron and Motre, I think they've combined for maybe 13 sacks so far in the career. What, what do those guys have to do to get to that next level as pass rushers? As well, anyone in the room for a whole? Well, well, we always, we always want to improve. The, the whole group, as a, as a group, we want to improve as a whole. You know, so so every single day we're taking a proper step so the whole unit can be elite pass rushers and we can get better in improving that aspect. Marcus, you're you're back here. Obviously, what's it like been for you for you at a personal level to be back here at Rutgers coaching? Just oh, it's amazing. I'm from Jersey. Most of us are from Jersey. This is this is our state. You know, it's it's kind of interesting. I've had multiple other stops from different places, but you always check where home is and always see how home is going. What is it doing? And, and Coach Yano is back. You know, the Godfather. So 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 we could not be more excited. And it's been amazing. It's been awesome. Marcus, I want to talk a little bit about your recruiting territories and what kind of connections being at Ole Miss did you kind of make down there? So the, the answer to the first part of the question, that's kind of a two-part question. The first part, at, at Ole Miss, I learned a lot from Coach Kiffin, uh, both Coach Kiffins, Coach Monty Kiffin and, and Coach Lane Kiffin, and I learned how to recruit and learned how to recruit at the highest level. You know, I, I think the SEC is the high, but I think the Big Ten is the highest, and, and I learned a lot. And as far as my areas, Coach Chiano always want to take care of home first, and we want guys that love football. We want players that love football, that's excited to be football players, and are, are happy from where they're from. Players talk about your energy and, and your attitude, and it, just talk about your whole coaching philosophy because it seems like they have a lot of fun with you. Yeah, so, so the, the, the reason why I coach truly is because of my youth coaches. Uh, when I played for the East Orange Wildcats in, in Columbia Park and, and then Irvington Avenue Park in Irvington, those are some of the, the best coaches I've ever had. And, and they made every day fun from when I was 8 till I was 13. So why not make it fun for these 18 to 23-year-olds? They deserve it. So, so every single day, no matter what's going on outside the world, coach has a phrase, chop. And every single day we try to chop the moment. We chop the practice. For you coming into a new position group, how big is it to have veterans like Ifa and Maya and guys who have been around Kind of, you have a lot of young guys in that room, rising up as well. Yeah, yeah. Ifan, uh, Mayan, Motoray, you know, West Bay, those guys are doing an excellent job of not only just leading, leading on the field, but leading off the field, which is very important for, for the guys in my room and the young guys. You know, having guys like that, that has done it that they can look up to, that, that is really, really exciting. Since been of uh, Keontae Hamilton, and what have you seen from him in the spring? Great guy. The thing that stands out to me is relentless. You know, he takes that, that, that wrestling attitude and he instills it in, into the room. And he's awesome, just like the rest of those young guys. Those young guys, I'm telling you, they feed off each other, they, they believe in each other, and they have great leaders that, that helps them out.